If you're doing business, it's no longer local, it's countrywide, it's continent-wide, it's worldwide. And while you can learn a lot of useful things from a textbook about doing business globally, it's no substitute for the actual experience of going to a country and learning about the challenges, the opportunities, the culture, and the people. The international trip is designed to be a core element of the MBA program because a lot of what we teach here is based on very predictable environments, on ability to plan, on stable currencies, very little of which applies once you go in many of the emerging economies. So this year we went to South America, we visited two countries, we went to Colombia and Peru. It was the first time for many of the students going to South America. The South American trip was a real highlight of the MBA. It was an opportunity to bond with classmates and experience part of the world that I have not been to. Most importantly, it was a chance to see what we've been learning in the classroom and see what it looks like in practice. I gained such an appreciation for how big the South American economy is and the realities of doing business um, abroad. We got to see and talk to really interesting people, visit really interesting companies, cover a variety of industries. The bigger point of the trip is that exposure to a very different environment and a very different way of doing business. For many of us, Colombia, you still associate sort of with the drug era. But what people don't realize is that it's a country in transition. So where it used to be really characterized by a lot of corruption and a lot of crime, it's becoming a very, very safe place and one that's really welcome to business. We visited the National Federation of Coffee Growers. It's a nonprofit cooperative. They enlightened us with how coffee is grown because a lot of us from Canada don't really understand what the agricultural process is. It was really amazing to see the back-end operations process of how the coffee is grown and how they ship it to countries all over the world. This coffee federation is working so hard to have a sustainable business for these coffee growers and empower them to continue what they're doing. They want to build their business, but they want to do it in a way that passes income down the chain so that the farmers who are actually harvesting the coffee are getting a fair wage, are getting a living wage. One of the biggest challenges for global business right now is income inequality. How do we ensure that the growing amount of wealth in the world is distributed in a fair way? So to travel to a place like Colombia and to see companies that have as part of their reason for being as ensuring that the people at the bottom of the pyramid are benefiting. That was fascinating and kind of inspiring. Another quite wonderful visit was our visit with the University of Andes students. Why you're taking an MBA, what it means uh, to you to do an MBA, what you might hope to get out of the experience or maybe for your A colleague of ours, Dr. Philip Grant, teaches there and it just so happened that he taught a class that very same day and we decided to get the students together. The highlight for me in Bogota is to visit the local university and we met their MBA students. I asked many people the same question, how do I do business in Bogota? Not only their economic development really impressed me, their knowledge development, their universities, the people in their MBA programs, they're incredible. And I actually made some really good friends there. It was a chance for us to intermingle, as well as talk about our respective lives and talk about what the MBA means in a Colombian context, what it means in a Canadian context. It really opened my eyes to the globalized business world and just how interconnected we all are. It was quite heartwarming to see them shaking hands and hugging and exchanging telephone numbers and Facebook information. It was something I remember for a very long time. The very same way that Canada and the U.S. are not the same country, even though people often think they are, uh, Colombia and Peru are not the same country. So that contrast was important for me to show to the students. It's still South America, there's some commonalities, but there are also things that are different between the countries. Peru has also been through quite a number of challenges, but they've been stable for longer. And the look and the feel of the country is quite different. 
the main focus of a trip like this is to learn about business there. But you gotta eat. And when you're in Peru, it's a privilege to eat because they have some of the best restaurants in the world. And we also got a sense of how intertwined business is with the food industry and the restaurant industry. So we not only have these amazing dinners that we talk about for months and months afterwards, we're learning something about the culture. In Peru, we had an opportunity to meet with a textile entrepreneur. We learned about his journey, how he came from a small village, and how he now has a multi-million dollar organization. He saw an opportunity to consolidate outside commerce into one central area within Lima and it's now grown to one of the biggest markets in the world. This man is exceptionally wealthy and had a lot of the same characteristics of any of the world's most prominent entrepreneurs. It is very eye-opening to see how businesses develop in different countries versus in Canada. Everyone in that meeting was just mesmerized by his story and the questions just kept coming in. One of the companies we visited in Peru was the National Society of Mining, Oil and Energy. They faced this dual challenge of providing energy for a population with growing energy needs, but not doing so in a way that pollutes the environment. He spoke to us about the opportunities that are currently taking place with natural gas in Peru and the challenges they have getting it out to market. One of the key takeaways for me was really starting to understand corporate social responsibility. CSR is something we talk about a lot in the MBA, but it, in talking to him, it was the first time I really understood the impact of these sort of programs. So given that almost any work environment you're going to enter is going to be a global one, you really should understand what are the challenges of doing business in other countries with companies in other countries. And by actually visiting these places, you can say to a prospective employer, you know what, I had this conversation with a textile entrepreneur in Peru. I met with the staff of a refining company in Peru. I have seen the income inequality in Colombia when we were in a meeting with a bank while on the street there's a demonstration of teachers who are saying they're not being paid enough. So when you've actually experienced these things, I think you're much more convincing to an employer who says, wow, you can actually understand these from an on-the-ground experiential perspective. This is an experience that I could carry on with my business career for any company that wants to grow internationally. And we know that South America is a very huge market, so this is something that I will always have on my resume, and I can always say I understand the culture of business in those countries. I think as much as anything, the international trip is an opportunity to really wrap up everything we've learned in the classroom and put it into practice. There's context there that wasn't there prior to starting the program that allowed me to understand and appreciate the speaker's content at a level that I certainly could not have done prior to entering the program. I couldn't have done this on my own. This was not something that I could travel to these countries and be a tourist and get the same depth of knowledge. It was really an amazing opportunity to go down with a business class with my professors. For MBAs, for someone who wants to do business, it's very important to open our eyes to see the world. And that's what I got out of this trip. We've been to a number of different countries over the years. We've been to Chile, we've been to Argentina, we've been to Japan, we've been to Brazil, and now to Peru and Colombia. We're going to continue to visit fascinating places that are going to have great learning experiences as well as great cultural experiences and a lot of fun.